Ah, uh, what's black and white and taking all over? Mm. This segment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in case you didn't get that, that was a joke uh, at Liam Neeson uh, for Taken 3, because we have no idea what that movie's going to be about, who's going to get taken. My bet is on either Samuel L. Jackson or Morgan Freeman gets taken in, in Taken 3. Kevin has no did, thoughts. Did it, wait, is it, has this been a rumor for a while or what? something? No, I just made that up. But Taken 3 is going to happen. That's, <laughs> okay. fr- that's confirmed. Taken 3, the Takening. The Takening, yes, the Takening. And I'm just saying, I think someone famous is going to get taken, and it's not going to be anyone that Liam Neeson's related to. He's running out of family members. I don't know. Maybe they could dig up his grandma or something. I don't know. Anyway, so this is, uh, we're going to talk about some entertainment news, things that are happening on shit that happened this week. Uh, One thing that I thought was pretty big was that uh, after denying many, many times about coming back as Jason Bourne, Matt Damon um, has finally signed on for Bourne 5, along with Paul Greengrass, the director of, I think, the last two Jason Bourne movies. Who played... Who was the main character in the other Bourne movie that... Jeremy had, Renner? Yeah. His character? Right. Okay, so I he... His character, I think. But has, does he have any input on basically being replaced? So the thing is that he... What was going to happen was Bourne 5 was going to start... Work on, they were going to start work on it. They already had a director, Justin Lin, the guy who directed Fast Five. He was already on board to direct the fifth movie, which was going to be a sequel to Born Legacy, starring Jeremy Renner. And then Matt Damon hopped on board, and they're like, well, Jeremy Renner, we're going to shelve your project, who knows, maybe indefinitely. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, Matt Damon was Jason Bourne, and he's the best way to get people back interested in the franchise. But Jeremy Renner still has his role as Hawkeye in the Avengers. Yeah, and he's so also... So he still has a job. He, he has a job. I mean, right now he's currently filming Mission Impossible 5 with Tom Cruise and Simon Pegg. Oh. And Ad- Adam Baldwin's in them. Not Adam. Alec Baldwin is in that movie. One so. of them. There's a, there's a no, bunch no, of No, no, well, he's not related to the Baldwins. Adam Baldwin. Oh, really? No, he's not. Because oh, there's a whole series of brothers, I just assume. Yes. Um, also, this is something that might interest you, Kevin. Zachary Quinto? Quinto? Quinto, yes. Quinto? Yeah, he uh, announced on the Today Show that filming on the next Star Trek movie is going to start within the next six months. So you're they probably project- super excited about that, aren't you? We'll see. I worry about Orsi or Orky, however you're supposed to pronounce his last name, directing it. Hey. But we'll see. We'll I mean, see. I hope it's good. I hope it's but good. I don't expect much. Oh, shut up, Kevin. <laughs> uh, and he I guess... Good in- Quinto was good in Heroes. That's how he got famous. Well, yeah, I only watched, like, the first season of that. Everyone so. did. Yeah. I didn't even watch the whole first season, so I, don't, I can't really speak to knowing him more than just as mm-hmm. Spock. Also, he was in American Horror Story or whatever, but whatever. Not important. Also, rumor has it Daniel Craig will be making a guest appearance in Star Wars Episode Seven. Apparently he had begged and begged and begged and begged and begged J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams for a part, and they said, okay, we'll put you in the background under some heavy... Like makeup, something kind of like Nathan Fillion in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Funny thing though is that while this is going on, Liam Neeson has constantly been making dropping hints. He's like, "Oh, I'd love to come back as Qui Gon Jinn." Nobody's but asked no him. one's no one's asked him, and nobody wants him. Well, not saying nobody wants him, but he just hasn't been approached for this. So kind of so far in the future that. Yeah. But we're bringing it all back. See, we started with a Taken joke, yes. Liam Neeson, and now it's Liam Neeson again. Um, and really, I mean, the only other thing that happened that was of note, at least that I wrote down here in my stupid little note cards, was that the Avengers Age of Ultron plot synopsis was finally announced. Posted, yeah, I yes. saw that. Uh, so if you want spoilers, you can go read that. We're not going to spoil it for you right here, but there's plenty of places on the internet you can find it. Uh, it's pretty much just teasing who the villain is, who yeah. the superhero is. But I mean, you, this is stuff, it, the villain is in the title of the movie. Yeah. That's no shock. I mean, and you... If you've seen, if you've gone on the internet in the past couple of months, you've seen pictures probably of the cast. So none of it was really surprising, I guess. But you but know, it's official now. It's it's more real now. I also saw a picture of Jeremy Wen- Jeremy Winner Jeremy Renner wearing a Scarlett Johansson mask. It was terrifying. Uh, it'll be right here. I'll show it to you, Kevin. It's it's, oh boy. Fr- it's frightening. It sounds bad. It's oh my god. It's bad. <laughs> um. That's all the scoops we have. 
Uh, well, if you're looking for something to do, you could go on the internet to Google and play this game that Kevin taught me. Yeah, so apparently this got added more than a year ago. I think 2012, <laughs> and I never noticed. But if you type in a celebrity's name, followed by the phrase bacon number, it will produce a the number of degrees in between that celebrity and Kevin Bacon, just like the game that everyone... Six degrees been, of Kevin Bacon. Six degrees of Kevin Bacon that everyone's been playing for... A while. Now, the challenge is actually to get up to six degrees because... Because it's Google is super, super efficient and will find links that no one has ever heard of and shorten the path. So it's actually really difficult to get high up in number. So I've, you can go and try that. I tied Google, by the way. Kevin quizzed me and I tied Google by guessing the appropriate number of steps between Daniel Craig and Kevin Bacon. It's two. But now go out there, find us one that's six, and leave it in the comments below. And thank you for watching, liking, and commenting in the video below. Uh, we're Marcus and Kevin. See ya. See ya.